What's going on, YouTube fam? So, I'm going to have to tell you the problem I'm having with this thing. Uh, especially that I had this morning. And it's kind of weird because it made me think about what it could possibly be. Uh, well, what, what it could be wrong with it. So we'll see. I'll show you that. Uh, I'm hoping that this part comes pretty quick. Kind of wet out. Not really. So look, here's another thing I need. Okay. I need some garage lighting, man. Uh, does anybody have those hexagonal lights that are supposed to be bright? I want to do some all the way across here. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do, but I want brighter. Uh, I want way brighter, especially like, you know, you turn these on, you, I still have no brightness toward the front of the garage when I'm doing anything and got the garage closed to keep the air or heat inside. So I want brighter. So uh, does anybody have those hexagonal lights um, that just look real cool or does anybody have any other uh, options or opinions that could uh, I could get away with so anyway uh, yeah I got my Milwaukee banner hung ta-da uh, I'm trying new blades out I bought the XHT's the Gators <coughs> or not the Gators the organs and the uh, what was the other one? The XHTs, oh, the Copperheads. Uh, so I, I bought three different styles of blades. I'm gonna try them out, see what happens with that. But uh, I bought them in the Skag blade because the Toro blades, I just don't think give enough lift, especially when you start cutting higher. The problem I'm having is the grass is, you know, even though I go a different direction, let me get this straight. I go a different direction every week uh, the grass lays down and them Toro blades have a hard time pulling that up even if I turn around and go against it uh, ever you know couple times or whatever before I restrap the lawn then so I need something with a better lift so that's why I bought them blades and I think probably gonna work we'll see I put them on I mowed my yard uh, so we'll see how they go this week. But anyway, let's get rolling. Let's get started. I'll show you how bad we are here because it's horrible. So, uh, all right, let's roll. All right, guys, look, this is a bi-weekly. <clears throat> One of the fortunate fews. I was told the reason they do bi-weekly is because it never gets out of control. I'm gonna tell you, they were not lying one bit because this is two weeks. And this is what it looks like even if we get rain or anything. I mean, it's crazy how uh, how low this thing grows. So knock it out real quick and uh, we'll move on. Show you a couple I skipped last week. I mean, it's just, they all the rains went north of, of here or south and we need rain bad. So let's get this one done. All right, guys, look at this. Now, these two properties irrigate, and I skipped last week, and they can still barely keep up with it. It's still barely growing. I mean, it's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. If I didn't have these properties that irrigate, I wouldn't have nothing. I wouldn't have anything to mow uh, because it's freaking crazy. I'll show you, uh, I'll show you one later <coughs> that, uh, that man i guarantee you it's it's brown as all get out this is what i'm dealing with in uh harrisonville is this right here not sheesh it's dead it's completely dang dumb dead 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 uh yeah that's that's what i've got we need so much rain here it is ridiculous uh harrisonville is worse than like uh the north they've got a little bit up there they've got a little bit here but 
man it's just it's been so hot and uh i mean like i said i've got people with irrigation that can't keep up neither so uh let's go see what this other one looks like that always grows and uh so yeah it's right down the street over here so let's go see what it looks like this is uh uh this is the third third week third week but golly it's ridiculous uh the side's pretty grown but uh you got some spots up here if you can tell but i'm gonna set you up on this let you see some dust fly all right so we're going to do a new quote here and uh, because this is a new client we're going to have to create a new client in order to do this so you'll see some of this uh and some of this you will not see like you know the last name uh, stuff like that but you'll see how quick this actually goes And then when you go to enter your addresses, of course, they, I believe they use Google. Uh, so whenever you go to do this, then, you know, the address is going to automatically start popping up here of uh, where it could be. This is a large property. There is no locked gate or dog. Automatic notifications. This is for your quote follow up. And uh, so what this does is this will send the client a reminder two days after you send this quote and six days after uh, so we're not worried about that so we're going to turn that off and then we're going to create the client <clears throat> so now we got it this is our quote now we've got our likely very likely so to me this is a very likely thing uh product or service so we're going to do lawn mowing <clears throat> and this is going to be 225 for this property so we'll boop 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 bing. and then uh then we're going to add a line item and i've got a guy that is going to do the weed killing for the parking lot so we will make our own here and we will call this uh, spray all parking lot weeds around building and tanks <clears throat> this service uh, could be done you know may be done every couple months this service price this service may be done every couple months but may last longer and not need it as much. So the first price he said was it was gonna be 425. So we're also gonna put on this uh, <clears throat> price is for first initial treatment
Uh, but here's this, and then, you know, give your clients to an option to pay over time. So see, you can do this too, to where they could pay $29.37 per month. Uh, you get paid in full as soon as the work complete, whatever. Uh, I mean, it's, it's crazy some of the things that you can do with uh, Jobber here. And I mean, it's just, it, I mean, we're going to save it. We're going to send it as an email. So that's going to show us what it looks like here. Uh, and you know, you can see, uh, right here, like underneath where it says lawn mowing, it tells the notes that I put in. This is it. This is nice. Uh, this is what it is. Here's your quote and, uh, we'll send it. Boom. All right. That's going to do it for that one. So guys, look, I can't tell you all these jobs I've got from Jobber. Uh, you know, I've got this landscape job, uh, 12 2. I actually got one and then, uh, <clears throat> and then the other one was the neighbor. So, just go check it out because I'm telling you, you may think the price is one thing, but when you get the work that you can sand through this stuff, way easier and simpler then uh you know it, it's well worth the money well worth the money convenience is a huge thing you gotta think that's why we get paid to mow people's lawns and do landscaping and it's a convenience thing uh they don't want to do it and you know we're here so uh go check it out see if it's something that's right for you but that is dead uh, so barely took anything off really just wanted to get you know the, the high parts back under control looking good again and go from there so probably bend up being another week or two before well two or three weeks before i mow it again it's it's just crazy so uh all right it's gonna do it for this one don't forget to like comment subscribe look if you this this toro worked fabulous all morning gets hot outside okay gets hot outside only when it listen to me carefully only when it's hot outside i can mow the same property all day when it's cool outside 80 below when it gets hotter outside then this mower every little bump wants to put chip, pit, pit, spit and sputter all over the place never wants to stop and never shuts off and never the blades never completely disengage nothing like that it's just annoying and it used to never do it let me know down below what you think because you've seen I, it's just crazy to me i don't understand it i can do i can mow all day when it's cool outside and never have an issue with it but as soon as it starts getting hot outside is when it starts doing it. I don't know what it could be anymore. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Maybe somebody knows something I don't because nobody can figure it out. I can't figure it out. I've changed everything except <coughs> the carburetor. But they, you know, I've had it checked and cleaned and everything. So I don't know. Maybe it's got something to do with the float. I, I don't understand how that would have anything to do with it when it's hot compared to early morning but maybe i'm wrong i don't know uh let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to like comment subscribe i'm danny i will see y'all soon let's go i'm a strap of the great yep. knock with the bass yep. i got the echo locked in your face Ooh. if you want to battle this is not that place you can meet me at the table and come get a taste we talk to youtube live yep. where i thrive yep. see me on the tour watch the grass fly by some think that i'm cocky dewalt in milwaukee it really don't matter because y'all can get off me if you like the video